Okay, so following on from that sort of P1, P2 drill, we're gonna then continue that up into what would be top of backswing. So what we're gonna do, this is just a sand iron, something simple. Just put the club, literally, across your toe line. You hold the right hand under, left hand on top, like a golf grip as it would be. And then you're just gonna pivot your left shoulder down so you can feel where the backswing goes. Now again, you don't wanna blow your posture out so the butt of the club is facing the sky or the, or the wall, it's still facing the baseline. So this will tell you how mobile you are. And for those of you watching, yes, I'm not very mobile. So hand under, down, and just feel that shoulder down. Now, if I go any further, my body's gonna to wanna to try and probably, for me, lift up and out. So that's always been a problem for me that my left shoulder wants to go this way in the backswing. So keeping it down and rotating, then come back down into position. Don't hold for too long, you're under too much stress. So just keep that right hand under, left hand in front, pivot down the shoulder. Now my right arm is in a good position now, my right arm is like it should be, supporting the old Spanish waiter job underneath. I'm not over bending it, I'm not flying it, and I'm not over cocking it. I'm keeping it in the same relationship here. All I'm doing is pivoting the shoulder down, and that's my backswing. So for those of you that struggle with mobility, like me, just feel the right shoulder is getting deeper back and retracting, or turn your feet out more to get more rotation. Whatever you feel gets you more turning, even if your left foot comes up a little bit, that's okay as well, as long as that shoulder's not blowing its posture, okay? Again, stay safe. Me and Ben wish you all the best, and we'll see you soon.